My name is Insane Raven. I am back with another episode of Tales of the Hunt, and this is the one where we had to fight Morgan Freeman. Spoilers! If you didn't know, if you weren't on the internet when this game came out, if you didn't watch anything uh, trophy hunting related, you can fight Morgan Freeman, and it's probably the hardest boss in the fucking game. Um, and when I say probably, I mean it definitely is because he basically can just kill anyone. Um, with a, like, a single hit. He basically kills everyone in this first move, and it's like, why? Why are you able to do this, dude? And it's terrible, and it hurts, and everything is bad. But no, I wanted to talk about uh, South Park, the Factual Hole, because I wanted to just... I wanted to talk about this game. I don't know. I got it on the same day as Dead by Daylight, and that was another reason why I wanted to talk about it, because it was like a two-for-one thing. Which was really cool. Um, no, but this is a remarkably easy platinum list. Which, I think the fact that it was so easy fucked me up more than it had it been difficult. Because, like, so the first game, right? The first game, you had to 100% the game if you wanted the platinum. You know, not a big deal. It happens. It's something that. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna make quick silver for this one-off video. Um, <laughs> you know, it's something you have to do. It's, it comes with the territory, basically. Um, of you know being a trophy hunter and that type of thing. The issue came with the fact that like, you didn't have to do that for any of this. Like it just wasn't something that you had to do at all. And I was. That took me by just such, like, I mean, I don't have to work. You know, I don't have to really work for it. So I ended up spending a lot of time playing the game, which, don't get me wrong, it was still a good time. I still had a lot of laughs, a lot of fun that I didn't need to uh, do because I was in this mindset of, oh, I have to platinum. I have to platinum it. I have to do everything. I, that's the only way I can... I don't want any of that. It's the only way I can really pull this off is if I... <laughs> is if I do everything with the game. Um, so a lot of the, our story time is based off this belief of like, you have to do everything. You don't have to do everything. And the, nothing in this game is locked behind a pit, is locked behind um, a missable trophy or something like that. Which is another thing that really messed me up. Because a lot of the things in South Park Stick of Truth were things were just hidden behind things. And things were, unless you explored everything, you some things would get locked out. So I'm curious as to why that was actually a thing, um, and why that was a decision that was made. I don't know why, can't tell you why, but it was the decision that was made. Um, but I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, the Mastermind difficulty. If you have any questions about it, it's probably about the Mastermind difficulty, and it is probably the easiest hard mode I've ever done. A um, Mastermind difficulty is a joke <laughs> because of how the game plays and how you don't have to have um you don't have to what what am i thinking of what's the what i'm trying to come up with um fuck what's the word Oh, because you don't have to, like, go for specific things. You can kind of do whatever. Um, at any time, nothing is locked. So you kind of just have to do some world exploration. And you'll get it. The only thing you have to 100% is the Yaoi art. Which, by the way, I would show it on my other file. But, um, you know, I'm not. Mainly because I don't want to update the game. I want to record this quickly and move on. Um, if you go to the, uh... The, you get this really cool Yaoi final picture, which is so fucking cool. And I, I'm i disappointed that I got it so late in my original playthrough that I didn't really get to use it. Because it, the Yaoi art was the last thing I did. Um, It was the absolute last thing I did, and it's absolutely infuriating that I didn't do more with that when I couldn't. And when I said... uh. 
not only when I could have, but when I should have, you know. Um, but yeah, other than doing the uh, the mastermind difficulty, nothing is really going to give you any problems. The the uh, the Morgan Freeman boss fight, while it is difficult as all fuck, you can do it on the easiest difficulty and kind of just skate through it without even giving it a second glance. Um, so there's like there's nothing in this game that makes you kind of stop and be like, this is harder than it should be, or this is something that I actually struggled with, which is annoying. It's something that I wish wasn't the case. Because that was part of the thing that made uh, Stick of Truth such a satisfying trophy. Uh, trophy hunt is, even though like none of it was particularly hard, you still had to be spatially aware of everything that you were doing. Um, you had to be aware that oh, I do need to collect everything, I, and you know there's a certain sense of accomplishments with that. And I'm not, I hate, I absolutely hate 100% in games. But this is one of the games where, like, it made sense for that to be the thing to do. It's like, oh, I have to 100% this game. That that makes sense. And when he didn't have to do that, it felt like part of it, part of the joy that it got out of uh, platinuming the first game, kind of felt like it got taken away. You know? And I was disappointed by that. Um... Well, no, but the game's fun. It's enjoyable. If you like South Park, you're going to have a good time. And that's the most disappointing thing is that there's, there's so little to talk about with it that the only reason why I'm making a video is that I really wanted to talk, like, I really wanted to talk about South Park. Mainly because it was so cool that we, uh, that I accomplished this on the same day as Dead by Daylight on the 1st of 2018. Like, it was a gr this is a great startup for 2018. That's basically what this was. And that's why I was so excited about it. And why I wanted to talk about it. Um. But, uh, you know. There's not, like, everything is really easy. You can look up a guide for it. It was actually put on as a, a contender for easiest trophy of 20, easiest platinum trophy of 2017. Um, had there not been so many easy trophies of 2018, of 2017, um, you know, it would have been, I don't know, I feel like this game had a lot, when, when you look at how good, like, when you look at how good a stick of truth was, in regards to its trophy hunts and how everything... Even the really dumb things, you know, were really enjoyable. Where this one, it didn't have any of the, like, the smaller trophies where you could just have to go do a random thing. A lot of the trophies here was, um, are combat-based or something along that, something along those lines. And it's just disappointing that with a game with such a good platinum list on the first game, didn't follow through with that in the second game. Um, and I think that's the only place that this game actually falls apart because it is an amazing game otherwise and it's far superior in every way otherwise um my phone is blowing up excuse that um oh okay that's that's kill apparently um, no, but other than that, like, this game is better in almost every way. And until the, you look at the trophy, which is this morning. Um, but the fight with Morgan Freeman, you can put on the lowest difficulty and not have an issue with it. Like, I don't know. This this was disappointing, but it was still fun. And it was, and because I got on the same day as the first of the year, um, as, and as Dead by Daylight, it it made me want to talk about it, so that's why I made this video. It it was exciting. I loved it, but I did love this game. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the story time. I hope you guys enjoyed 
this um but you know what i'll see you guys next time i'll see you guys for my next video i'll see you guys for my next mini adventure and um yeah so hope here comes 2018 and here here's hoping that 2018 is fucking awesome You know? So, I, here, here's hoping that 2018 is fucking awesome. Which is funny that I say that now because this video is either coming out... Oh, I dropped my cards. This video is either coming out, like, on the 2nd, like, in February, or, like, way in the middle of 2018. So, if, it's, if that happens, you know, I hope that your 2018 is going well. It's the beginning of the year. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy the hunt. See you next time. Bye-bye.